Alrighty folks, welcome back to North Fork Armory. This is going to be my final unboxing uh, for the School of Sonoran Desert Institute. Um, and some of the packages I've received I haven't actually done because they were just kind of basic. But this is the big one. This is your final capstone project. You can choose um, an 80% build. You can do a 1911. Uh, an AR-10 or an AR-15, and AR-15 you can choose a uh, 5.56 or 300 blackout. That's currently what shows is available. Um, they may add new things in the future. I would have done the AR-10 if it had let me do it in 6.5 Creedmoor, but it didn't, so I chose the blackout. So here's going to be everything they send for that final project. And of course, I will have to do some type of video for the final project afterwards. So, let's see. Um, basically, for the most part, this looks like an aero precision build, um, which isn't bad. So, got the aero precision bolt carrier group, black with the phosphate coating. The black anodized upper receiver. Okay, we got our barrel nut. Let's kind of see what they sent here. Okay, yep, yep. See that in there. A2 style flash hider, which is fine. I'll probably change that. We got our forward assist and our. Uh, dust cover. I may need to get a different dust cover that's marked for 300 blackout. I kind of like those. Okay, so we've got our gas tube. Our 80% lower. Uh, billet, not forged. The mill spec. So, okay. Let's just take a look. Ah, you know, that's not nice. I like that it already has that, uh, okay. My other 80% being forged didn't have, you know, the markings, so I'm just kind of have to guess on that. All right, what do we get here? Ooh, a sticker from 80% arms, cool. All right, something new to go on the workbench. Real bits. Trying to do this one handed, folks. So just forgive me for a second here. I'm actually just trying to see standard drill bits. I don't think any of them are a mill bit, you know, where it's flat on the bottom. Oh, maybe one of them is. Oh, it is, yes. Let me see that. So, like a plunge mill. Nice. That's uh, going to make things a lot easier than just using drill bits and files like I did before. Uh, let's see here. Got the lower parts kit, which is everything that goes into the lower, basically. All just from Aero Precision, so I'm not going to open that. Gas block. Yeah. Pretty standard there. We got our buffer, buffer spring, buffer tube. Castle nut and plate, so we got everything there. Pretty standard looking uh, butt stock on that. Eh, whatever. That's an easy uh, change out. Oh, crush washer. Okay. 
We got our barrel, which is in 300 blackout, 16 inch. I wish they would have sent something else, but whatever. Uh, standard style charging handle, so that'll be changed. Oh my god, the jig kit, which we're going to look at here in a second. Oh, little attachments for your uh, Picatinny rail for your hand guard. Got the Aero Precision Free Float. Looks like this one is going to be an M lock. It is. Kind of prefer key mod personally, but whatever, it'll work. Okay. Um, and then as far as tools go, it looks like they only just send the armorer's wrench. So at this point now I will have three of these. Uh, so I've got one just like that, and I've got one from Wheeler Engineering as well. Let's go ahead and take a peek at this jig. Because I have a jig now that I think is not super awesome. Other, I mean, it is aluminum, but I got the kind of standard Anderson jig. And this one, ooh, another sticker, all right. Okay. So the jig kit actually comes with instructions. Requires a router. Yeah, see a lot of these, they say they require a router, but you end up using a fucking drill press, so. Anyway, good set of instructions. Uh, Anderson does not include instructions with theirs, you have to go online to get it. Anyway, so we've got that. Uh, it says, oh uh, yeah, a little card with some getting started stuff. And let's see here. All kinds of little attachments. I think that actually, you put it where your buffer tube would go. Oh man. little attachments and even a little level type thingy and this whole crazy setup jig looks pretty intense um, so we'll see I don't know it looks pretty cool so as far as jigs go I've looked at a few most of them are pretty standard this one easy jig gen 2 by 80% arms uh, looks pretty legit compared to some of the others so um, we'll find out of course by the time I get this build done uh, I'll, I'll let you know what I really thought of it then compared to the other one that I have and that I've used so um, but in any case everybody this is basically an aero precision build is what you get um, with the 80% stuff coming from 
80% arms. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check out this barrel. All right. Anyway, everybody, this is it, and um, I'll document the end result of this. Uh, this build and I don't normally do that since this one's a class project I will um, and then I mean they're not hard <laughs> milling the lower is the hardest part I think and it, we'll see how that jig does anyway uh, everybody out there stay safe and carry on